In the previous video in this series, we learned how to set up an OAuth connection with YouTube API using Google's API PHP client. Now building on that, we want to put that connection to use and see how we can edit the details of a video on YouTube. So jumping right in, let's take a look at the code. I am going to be building upon the example I set up in the previous video. So I have in my index file all the code necessary to create that OAuth connection with YouTube. And just a refresher on what that process looks like in the browser. Here's my demo running. You can see I'm currently not authorized. I'm going to follow the authorization URL over to the Google YouTube servers. I'll choose the account I want to authorize as. And it redirects me back and we are now authorized. So building on that, let's take a look at the code to do the edit itself. I'm going to go back to the notes that accompany this video and jump down to the code. I'm going to copy this and in my project, I will create a new file. We'll just call it editvideo.php and we'll paste that in. And let's run through and talk about what this code does. So just like all of our previous examples, we are using the Google API PHP client. It's an external package and we're pulling it in using Composer's auto loading system. Here are the two classes within that package we're utilizing within this code. Following that setup, I have hard coded the details of the video that I'm gonna be editing, including the video ID. Uh, now, of course, the video you're gonna make edits to needs to belong to the user that is currently authenticated. You can't just edit any video on YouTube. So I hand chose this video. I know it belongs to the account I'm authenticated as. Um, the detail I'm gonna be editing is the title. So uh, just to show what this video currently looks like, let me pull it up on YouTube. So here's the current title, new Laravel application with Herd and DB Engine. And my edit, I'm just gonna add these three periods at the end, just so we can see this change persist. Um, now I'm editing the title, but we could change other video details as well. Following the same process we're gonna see, we could change things like the video description, the category ID, etc. cetera. Um, if you refer to the docs uh, within the YouTube API docs for doing the update, you could see all the details that you can edit. Um, now, realistically, if I was building some sort of tool or utility to edit um, details about a video on YouTube, um, I wouldn't be hard coding the details like this. I'd probably write some code where you maybe query for all the videos that belongs to the currently authenticated user, and then you let them choose the video they wanna make the edit to, that sort of thing. But we really just wanna focus on the edit process itself. So that's why I'm simplifying things by just hard coding one specific video that we're gonna make edits to. All right, so adjust these settings as see, uh, you see fit as you're playing around with this. Um, but following that, we're initializing our two classes we're gonna be using from that Google API PHP client. Uh, the client class itself, this is gonna handle the authentication. And then the YouTube class, this is how we're gonna actually uh, interact with the YouTube API. Um, now, after that, I have code to uh, authorize our client. And this is gonna rely upon this Google OAuth token, which should be in our session. And the reason it should be in our session is if we rewind to the index page where we do the authentication, uh, down here where we're completing the authorization, we get the token back from the Google servers, um, this is where we're storing it in the session. The idea is that once we're authenticated, we maintain that authentication for each page request on this application, even if it's a different page. All right, so we're just extracting that information we previously stored as part of that auth process. And then um, within our client object, we are invoking set access token with that token information. That's what should authenticate the request we're about to be making. Now, if for some reason that token doesn't exist, let's say we're not authenticated by the time we get to this page, it's just gonna redirect back to the index page where that authentication can happen. But assuming we are authenticated, then we get down to the edit code itself. And the first step in the edit is to get the existing details for the video that we wanna edit. So we've got our YouTube service instance. So we set that up up here with our client. Uh, we're gonna access the videos and then we're gonna invoke the list videos method. The details we wanna get for the video is the snippet details, because that's where things like the title and the description is, that's what we're gonna be editing, so that's what we're getting. And then we have to tell it which specific video we wanna get details for. All right, so we make that request to the API, we get our response back. Uh, because we're looking for a specific video ID, we should only have one, res uh, one item in our response, so we're just gonna target that item in the zeroth position, that should be our video. And then from the video details, we can get the snippet details. All right, and for this demo, uh, demo, I just dumped this to the page just so we can see basically what is the status of the video before we make our edits. Um, now, once we have those snippet details here, where we, uh, here's where we start to make the edits. We invoke the set title method. 
and then we passed it the new title I had set up above. All right. And at this point, if you wanted to update the description, category ID, like I said, those other snippet details, there are similar methods for making that happen. You would just add that code here. Once you have specified your edits, uh, we're going to invoke the set snippet method on our video with our updated snippet details. And then finally, with that all set up, we're going to do the actual update. So from our service class, we're going to reference our videos. We're going to do an update. What are we updating? We're updating the snippet. And then we're going to pass it along the video object that has all of our snippet details. All right. And then I just um, look at the snippet in the response just to compare it to the snippet details before we did the edit. All right. So let's run this and see what it gets us. I'm going to go over to editvideo.php. All right. So we've got two outputs. Here is our snippet before. Uh, let's look at the title. So here was the current title, as we saw when we looked at it on YouTube. And then here's the snippet details after. And you can see it should have added those three periods at the end. And let's go ahead and refresh our video on YouTube just to confirm that worked. All right, perfect. So you can see our title was updated. And in this example, it did happen uh, pretty immediately, but sometimes there is a delay. So you might go over to YouTube, refresh it and not see your changes right away. And it's just the changes have not propagated through the YouTube servers yet. So if that happens, just refresh it again, maybe a couple times, and eventually you should see your changes there. And with that, that's the basic process for editing the details of a video on YouTube using that Google API PHP client. If you ran into any issues with the code uh, shown in this video or have any questions about any of the details shared in this series, feel free to leave a comment below.